everybody, I've wanted to do this video for a really long time now. This is going to be a um, review slash almost rant type thing on the McDonald's Toy Story 4 line from 2019. I still can't believe it's 2020. It's, just, it's kind of crazy to me. So, I'll review each one and then I'll show you how to put the RV together. So, I'll s start off with number one. So, here's bag number one. I forgot what all the bag names are, but I know this one is bag number one because they have the numbers on the sides. This is a Buzz Lightyear, like, high tops, like a... It was like a strong man thing type thing going on. The main reason I wanted to get these is because it was because they had little minifigures for them. Here's Buzz. I mean, they're not detailed or anything, but they're... It's kind of cool. They're really the only reason why I collect these. Well, I collected them even after I realized that they were pretty bad. And so you have this little strongman type thing structure. And there's a little pin thing. There's a little thing at the bottom of Buzz. Push them down until you hear the click, and then push the button. It just shoots a little, like, he shoots probably a good five, six inches in the air. That's, that's bag number one. Bag number two, this was actually the very first one I got. I got this at a McDonald's when we went there, and I was so excited about this. Like, they had them out now, and I was, it wasn't just a rumor. So, this... This is the alien. It's like a whack-a-mole type thing. You like push the aliens and uh, spring loaded or whatever. It's literally just that. It's boring. Some of these toys actually came with little cardboard pieces, which were part of the game, which I don't have anymore because I threw them out because they were just, they were literally garbage. And I didn't even realize that I needed them, so whoopsie daisy. They were supposed to have milk cartons, and then you'd take Bo. Like, this This is another Bo figure. I forgot to show you. This is the only figure that can move her head. She can move it, like, 45 degrees, but whatever. It's actually kind of well detailed. Her, they can t You can tell they took, they made the most, e the most effort they put it into this one because her head actually is glossy compared to all the other ones so that she actually feels like porcelain. So you can tell that they, like since she was a new character, a redeeming character, they thought they could shove her back in there and make her the star, which obviously isn't the case. You were just supposed to take the little knob thing here and spin around. I like seeing her get dizzy because it's fun. Other than that, it's just a basic toy. Back four is Forky. This was like the second or third one I got. I actually really, this one's the only one that I kind of like because it's fun. Well, but it does come with a Forky mini. It does come with a Forky figure thing. And yeah, there's a rainbow thing. There's a rainbow sticker that Bonnie added. That there was a sticker in there, but I forgot to put it on because it was so small. So there is supposed to be like a little sticker on his feet, but it's just this is a little Forky figure. And then here's the structure. I forgot to keep showing you the structure. The structures are just boring and basic. But so you take Forky, you shove him down like this. There's a little knob thing. And then right here is actually push the button. You push it right here. Try to get him to land. You try to get him to land, and unlike other McDonald's toys, he actually does make it sometimes. You just gotta hit it at the right time. Wow, he made it! So yeah, that one's the first real cool one that I found. It's another one like Bo Peep that had some like cardboard thing balloons that I threw out because they kind of sucked. And it does, this does come with a Woody figure. Another basic figure. They did actually put a good bit of detail into these. 
And his arms are made out of, this arm is made out of rubber for the play, the only play function on all of these. But, like, so for Woody, what you're supposed to do, and I can get this up close, is you're supposed to, like, pull his arm back, and for the, there are balloons there, and you're supposed to knock him off. Not a great play feature. It's kind of a piece of garbage, but it is. It spent like 69 cents working at least. Next up is the only other one that I really, really like. It's the Duke Kaboom one. So it actually comes with a Duke Kaboom figure and on his bike. So not only this, and there's a little bit of stickering on here that I did do. But it actually is a little bit fun. I mean, it's, it's not, it's, it's still not that big of a toy, but it's more fun than all the other ones, in my opinion. But you're supposed to just, like, you can aim him on this ramp, ski ball ramp thing. You can aim him, and then you can push down, and he fires up. It actually, he is kind of a cool toy, which is why I like him. I like him, Duke Kaboom. Next up is another one that's just a little bit... Uh, this is the Jesse one, and I forgot to, this is, I think, yeah, this is the seventh. So I got through seven of them. <clears throat> Here's the Jesse figure. She can't come off, which is kind of unfortunate. She's smaller than the other ones, all the other ones. She's smaller than Woody, she's smaller than Buzz. She, I think she's the same size as Buzz, but that's, that's the back of her. And then now, you can, like, the only play feature for this one is... Oh, boy. So much fun. Next up is the Ducky and Bunny one. This is bag eight. These are the ones that I didn't really like because they didn't come with figures. And if you didn't have two people to play with this with, then they are kind of just useless. But this is supposed to be like a tiny game. You're supposed to like spin the wheel and like whatever it... Whatever this thing lands on, you're supposed to move your squirrel. So like, they have plus one, plus two, and two plus ones, one plus two, and one minus one. But you're supposed to just like, race them or whatever. It's not that fun of a toy. It's another one I don't like that doesn't come with a figure. It's Rex and Trix doing this one toy thing. It's, it's Rex. This camera will not focus on this. This is Rex, who's kind of derpy looking. And then Trixie, also kind of derpy looking. But the whole point is there's like this little knob thing on the back and you're supposed to like, spin it. I mean, it's, it's kind of cool, but it's, they're McDonald's toys. They're not gonna be fun like, that much. They're only supposed to enter, enter keep, they're only supposed to keep under, they're so only supposed to sell the meals. Mm, why can't I pronounce that? Then this is the last one. This is Gabby Gabby. Thank gosh. This is actually a figure. It's Gabby Gabby in like a teacup thing. She's interesting. You can stick her on here. And the whole point of this, only the only play function on this. I got this. We went to the pool. And I got this before we went to the pool. She spins... Wow. The main reason I actually wanted to get these was because they they advertise on every single little like booklet thing, not booklet, like card that you would get in it. They would advertise that you could build an RV if you collect them all. So I, I was like, okay, yeah, I gotta I got get them all. So I was actually kind of lucky. I didn't get any repeats. I had to buy Bo Peep online because... By the time I got, by the time I went to the McDonald's for her, they were selling the Lion King toys. But I got her on eBay, so I have all, I did get all of them. I got nine legitimately. But, yeah, I'll, I'm gonna build it. I'm gonna show you how the RV is kind of the one worst thing about this. So, I'm gonna probably do a speed thing.
so here's the entire toy playset thing put together. I didn't even attempt to put the figures like they had on the booklet because, I mean, Je Jesse works fine. Buzz sits on top of here. He goes on that section, but other than that, it's like it gets so crowded up there. Woody doesn't stay on right, and then if you put Bo Peep on, then Woody falls off, and Forky doesn't stay on correctly, and Gabby Gabby just kind of falls off because of how big she is. It's just, ugh, it's, it makes me angry. And they all fall down. But another thing I don't like about this is that RV itself is so flimsy. I mean, I know it's supposed to be built, like it's actually supposed to be built modularly, it's just, it's not that good of a toy, and why would I want to play with the normal toys anyway? They kind of suck. There's the bottom of it. They don't even, like, attempt to fix it. And then in the back, it's the ducky and bunny toy thing, and you can kind of tell by the things. The rabbit holder holds the forky jumper thing, which also is the ladder. But it... Uh, like, it's funny to roll around with and play if you're four, and it'll keep your attention for like almost six minutes. Yeah, it's just, it's not good. This whole line, I was so excited for. I was so excited for the new movie that was coming out because it was the first movie since I was like a toddler when I saw the first one. And then, like, they had McDonald's toys coming out for them. The last time they, they had fast field, they had the fast food toys made for them was, like, 1999. And I wasn't born in 1999. So this was the perfect opportunity for me to get them. And I had to get all of them because I'm a Toy Story fan. I have a collection of Toy Story toys. Of course I gotta get them all. And so I, I get the first one. I'm really excited to get all the other ones. And I'm as I'm collecting them... I'm, like, checking them off, and I did get lucky. I had no repeats. No repeats whatsoever. But it's... I mean, I got them. The figures are fine. I like playing with the figures. The figures are a good addition. But why don't they include figures with all of them? Why do they only include them with, like, seven of them? I think there's se Yeah, there's only three that... But why, why not? Why couldn't we get a Ducky and Bunny one? Why couldn't we get a Trixie and Rex one? Is it really that hard to make these toys? Probably cost 69 cents to make. Like, even less, probably. Probably more like 5 cents to make. I mean, it was just... I got I got lucky, and I got all 9. And then I had to get... The last... I had to get Bo Peep online because I couldn't get her anywhere. And they stopped selling them probably at the end of June. So they came out in June, and I was... I got them. So it's been a while now. Since it's January 2020 now. But if you really want to, like, tell me what you think of the set if you got all ten of them. Because, in my opinion, it's just. No, it's just not good. It's the only. It was a good idea. It's terrible concept, terrible design, terrible. It's just not. No.